Hi everyone, my name is Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I make videos on knitting and yarn and that's pretty much it. So if you are interested in those things, feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe if you like what you see. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at Jamie underscore create. So you can check me out on there as well. All the links to my social media and everything will be in the description. This is my first video that I filmed in a while. I know I have been hosting um, every week, but I filmed a couple of videos in advance because I went on holidays for about two and a half weeks to WA which is Western Australia. I live in Melbourne so it's like fully the complete opposite side of the country and I had an amazing time. I wasn't filming and uploading in real time while I was there like I was uploading videos that I'd already filmed prior to leaving if that makes sense but um, I actually did film while I was there and that's what this video is going to be. So while I was in WA I did visit a few yarn stores in true me fashion. <laughs> Wouldn't really expect much else. <laughs> and I filmed a few clips at some of the stores I went to and I bought some yarn and I will show you that, tell you about it and talk about the stores that I went to and yeah, just talk generally about the different stores in WA and yeah, I just thought this would be a cute little vlog basically. I didn't film like super long clips because obviously it's a bit like awkward when you're like in the store and I don't want to be like, but I did get a decent amount um, at most of the stores I went to. There was one store I went to that I actually didn't film, which was pretty stupid of me. <laughs> I don't think I got like any footage or photos or anything while I was there, which was in Fremantle, but it wasn't that exciting. So <laughs> that's probably why. Um, it was a cute store. I can't even remember the name, but it was a cute little store in Fremantle, um, but it wasn't anything outrageously special and I didn't end up buying anything there. So I was in Perth for a lot of the time. My boyfriend and I did go um, south of Perth for a couple of days, which is seriously beautiful. Like I just, some of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. And like, it's in my own country, which is just like, so, I don't know, cool. And like, sometimes I forget how beautiful my country is because I live in Melbourne and it's cool. It's nice to live here, but it's not like beautiful and I don't know sometimes I feel like we always have to like go overseas to like see incredible things but we really have so much in this like massive country of Australia and like there's just yeah I'm just like I've been like appreciating the fact that like there's so many so many amazing things to see and so many incredible beaches and just yeah incredible beauty in our own country. So we had a beautiful time. We were staying in Dunsborough, but we were like driving all around um, that kind of area, Margaret River region. And there is a surprising amount of yarn stores. Like I was saying to my boyfriend, I was like, I don't know, I've done a bit of travel this like past year and like, you would be surprised. Like there are yarn stores in places you don't expect them to be. And that was absolutely the case. Like Perth, it's like, honestly doesn't have many yarn stores. Like, there's, there was the one in Fremantle, which is, like, technically not even Perth. Like, I don't know. It is Perth, but it's kind of, like, a bit out of Perth. But, like, in Perth, I know there is one. I can't even remember the name, but I didn't go to it. But, yeah, like, a lot of them have closed down. I don't know. It's pretty sad. Because in Melbourne, we have, like, so many. I haven't even been to them all in Melbourne yet. Um, which is also probably <laughs> bad. I probably should at least get through all the Melbourne ones. Down south, there were actually probably more and, like, better yarn stores than in Perth, which is so weird. Because Perth is, like... The main city in WA. I will guess just take you through like the three that I went to down south. So we started off, we were staying in Dunsborough but um, the first yarn store I went to was actually in Bustleton and that is just like a bit like maybe like 20-30 minutes north of, of Dunsborough um, and yeah they have a beautiful yarn store there. I think it's called the blue box. It was really, really cute. And I went there actually on a mission and the mission was successful. Spoiler alert. I was making shorts like the whole, like for like a whole week of my trip. Like I just didn't did, I just was knitting these shorts like constantly. Like it's a week doesn't sound like a long time, but like I was literally working on nothing else. And like I was on holiday. So I had like a lot of time just like chill and knit. And so I was making these shorts and I thought I had enough yarn. I was using this like cotton yarn and I didn't have enough yarn. I realized when I got to the point where I was like running out, I was like, nah, there's just no way I'm gonna have enough. And I was like, one more skein should be fine. In reality, maybe two would have been good, but one was definitely gonna be very helpful. 
And I didn't know if I'd be able to find anywhere. I looked at like the websites of the yarn stores and I couldn't see them anywhere. But the website of this yarn store was a bit weird. Like it only showed the kits that they sell. It didn't actually show all the yarn. So I was like hopeful that like maybe they would have it. And so, yeah, so I went in and I was like looking around the store. Firstly, the store is absolutely beautiful. It's really, really cute and like wholesome. There's like this huge wall like on the side, like when you walk in, it's like everything's like on an angle. And like looking at it made me like dizzy, honestly, because I was like trying to like do this. And I was just like, I don't know, it kind of just messed with my head a little bit, but it was really cool. They had like all their kind of like novelty yarns and like, I don't know, more expensive yarns, I guess, on that shelf. They had a lot of Noro, which was like insanely expensive. And I know the skeins are massive and that's probably why. But like, I don't know. The Noro yarn is cool, but like, it's just not for me. Like, none of it is soft in my opinion and I just like cannot imagine it wearing anything with, with that yarn so I didn't get any but I do like to look at it and see and like look at the cool colors and I and I've always, I'm always like tempted when I see other people knitting with it but then whenever I like see it at a store and I touch it I'm like that's just not <laughs> it's just not soft and like I'm maybe a bit picky when it comes to that but yeah so I didn't get any, but it was like $80 a skein for some of those things I was like that isn't insane like Australian dollars it's crazy. But yeah, they had like, oh, I can't even remember, but they had like a lot of different yarn. And then I like walked through the store and I still couldn't really find what I was looking for, but it was like really, really pretty. They had heaps of patterns. And then I was just like going towards the counter and I saw that they had like this whole section of the yarn that I was looking for. And so then I was just like looking at it quickly and I wasn't sure if they had the color I needed. And so then I just asked the lady working there. I just showed her, the, well, I showed her like the label and like the project I was working on. And she had a look and she goes, oh, we've got one left. Like they literally had one skein left in that color, which I just think was so lucky. So I managed to get that, which was very, very exciting and a very successful start to the day and literally saved me because I was actually able to finish the shorts. And yeah, I don't know. I don't have that much more to say about this store. I didn't get anything else, but it was really pretty. So we then made our way back to Dunsborough where I knew that they actually had a yarn store slash bookstore. Well, it's more like a bookstore slash yarn store. I feel like the bookstore is the main thing and the yarn store is kind of just like a little corner of the store. But I just, it's just like, you don't understand. Okay, so the store is called Text & Co. And... I just can't believe like my luck like this would only happen to me that like I end up in the only store in Australia like the only physical in-person yarn store in Australia that stocks Warm the Gang and it's in some random town in WA like Dunsborough is like it's a popular tourist destination but like it's a really small town and like the fact that like Warm the Gang is like huge brand like is only stocked there in the whole country. Like no one else stocks it. It's, I mean, that's according to the lady that works there, but I believe her. I haven't, I've never seen it anywhere else. Um, I'm just like, that would only happen to me. And like, I almost didn't even go there. I was just looking at the yarn stores and it came up and I was like, that's a bookstore, I'm confused. And then I realized it was a yarn store and I was like looking through the photos on like Google maps and I saw this like wall of wool in the gang, which I just like, I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on this can't be real. Like this can't be the case. And walking in there was literal heaven. Like I walked in there and I was just like, they had, they didn't have, okay. They didn't have every wool the gang yarn. They didn't have like Take Mo Mohair or Feeling Good yarn, which are like two of my favorites. Um, probably for the best, because I would have bought some and I didn't need to. <laughs> so yeah, it's better that, it, that, that they didn't have everything, but they had Crazy Sexy Wool. They had Al Pacino Merino. They had cotton the shiny happy cotton they had the new little crazy sexy wool and i think a few others i was literally in absolute heaven they also had a few other brands they had malabrigo and they had rasta but no colors that i liked which is also for the best because i don't need rasta right now i have no plans to use it so yeah that's probably for the best that i didn't have any colors that i liked so i wouldn't, wasn't tempted um but they also had like prestige yarn which is like an australian kind of like commercial hand dyed yarn but it's really pretty and really good quality it had cowgirl blues as well which is like a south african um dyer that i think is just so cool i don't know i was just like 
this place is like literally made for me, like all the yarns that I love. I was just in my absolute element, obviously. Like all the yarn was like color coded as well, which I just thought was so me. <laughs> like I, I used to color code my yarn storage. Like I'm, that's very like, that's a very me thing to do. And this lady that is like, owns a store, I guess like, is like the knitting part of the store. Like the wool part of the store. She was just like, literally a wool the gang, like a fangirl. So like, we got along very well and she was showing me like a lot of her projects that she'd done. She helped me put together a elite, an absolutely elite yarn combo. Like I genuinely think this is like the best combination of yarn, like color combination of yarn like I've ever done. And I have already casted it on like what I'm making with it, um, which I think I'll show in like the next podcast. So I will keep that from this video. I mean, I've posted on Instagram already, but yeah, I put together these like five colors Arpuccino Merino, so it's lilac powder, chalk yellow, cameo rose, bubblegum pink, and pink sherbet. Uh, so those five colors, they only had one left, I think, of the bubblegum pink, and I'd been wanting to use that for so, so long. Um, and the lilac is actually a new color, and it's so pretty. So I was just like so excited. I don't actually know if I even have enough yarn for what I'm making. I think we might have to end up getting more, which is gonna be a whole other thing but we'll deal with that if it happens. So I bought those and I thought the really cool thing was that, like the yarn was, it cost like, I think it was actually even slightly, slightly like by $1, like slightly cheaper than getting it on the Wool and the Gang website, which like I was fully prepared to go in there and the prices are like marked up heaps because obviously it's like a yarn store and it's like kind of expect that with these like, yeah, when the yarn store is kind of stuck at uh, these like, big yarn brands that they kind of have to mark it up. Like it, that often happens with like hand dyed yarns, but I guess because they get them wholesale, they're able to not, like they don't have to mark it up so much from like the price that you get on the website. So, and I didn't have to pay for shipping, which normally I do. So I literally got the yarn for like cheaper than what I normally would get it for. So that was like <laughs> such a win and like so worth it. So yeah, I ended up just getting those five skeins and she actually gave me, I've got it here. So cute. The lady gave me like this little skein from um, Cowgirl Blues. It's just like a 20 gram skein of um, wool, 8% wool and 20% mohair um, from Cowgirl Blues. Um, and she said, just like, can you, you can take that to remember us. And I was like, that's so nice. So I got this one for free, which was so sweet. And yeah, I'm, I was just obsessed with that place. They had, although they had all these books as well, like so many knitting books, like 52 weeks of shawls. I just had like all these knitting books and I was just like, why do I want all of these? Like I didn't get any because I was like having restraint, but like, yeah, so, so, so cool. And just, I absolutely love the aesthetic of that place. And I will one day hopefully go back there. And also it's a great bookstore as well. So if you're into reading, like, 10 out of 10 recommend going there as well. So the last store that I went to was actually, we went kind of on our way back to Perth and it was kind of in a random town. Like I think it's called like Vassy, like V-A-S-S-E, um, kind of in between Dunsborough and Butterton. So we just popped there on our way back and it's called Cotton Rose, I think. And it's like a fabric slash yarn store. So there actually wasn't that much yarn. It was a lot more fabric but it was so beautiful. It was like so random, it's like tiny little town, but like they have a yarn store of all things. Yeah, Perth can't even manage to have that many yarn stores, like it's kind of weird, but like I said, you never know what, what kind of places will have beautiful yarn stores. But yeah, I went in, the lady was super, super helpful. I actually ended up going in there and getting, I got 10 skeins, I think I'm gonna need more, but I got 10 skeins of the, oh, I've got it here of the uh, Fiddlesticks Pepin 8 yarn, which is like an eight ply superwash merino and it's super, super soft. Um, I got the color 805 and I am using this yarn to knit up the Jenny sweater um, by Petite Knit, which is my first Petite Knit pattern. Actually, I've never done one of her patterns before. I'm making it for my mum. Um, she like gave me these on a discount, which was super nice, I guess, because I got a lot of skeins, um, which was really, really sweet of her. Like I got a pretty decent discount and I think I'm going to have to order more, but that is, we'll cross that bridge when we get there once again. But she was super helpful in like me figuring out if it was like the yarn was going to work because the pattern calls for mohair, but I just like couldn't really afford to do that. So I was like, can I, if 
finesse my way to use an apply and we figured out that I think we, it is gonna work and so far it looks great so yeah but she was super helpful and nice and they had a really cute and nice selection of yarn some really beautiful cotton yarns as well I guess it's in the name cotton rose but yeah like some really really pretty um, colors and just the store in general was so so nice and pretty I don't know that that much to say about it because there wasn't that much yarn but if you are like going down that way it is definitely worth stopping especially if you're also into like sewing and you want like cool fabrics and stuff overall I had an amazing time I'm really happy I was able to stop at those yarn stores but yeah I don't have that much more to say I guess just like I feel like I really like doing these videos I like going in like filming the yarn stores that I go to so I will try do that like kind of every time I go to a new yarn store so I do plan on going to some of the yarn stores in Melbourne that I haven't been to before there are still a couple to tick off yeah I think this will probably be a shorter video this week but I will definitely have a podcast up next week because I know I haven't done one in I haven't done one since like the start of December so definitely definitely need to get onto that and I'll definitely have lots to talk about on there and yeah so until then I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!